Hi, and welcome to the Graduate Database class. My name is Dr. Gary Bedicher, and right now what we're going to do have, is have an orientation towards this class. Now, first of all, I want to say thank you for enrolling in this class. You've got a lot of choices of other universities, majors, and courses, and I really appreciate you taking this class. Now, let me describe this class a little bit for you. First of all, it is a web-based class, which means all the notes are available online, Secondly, I'm doing something different as you know, have these videos available. So one of the questions you have to decide is whether or not you want to attend the class or not attend the class. Either way, what you need to do is go to the website, download the notes, watch the videos while reading the notes, then take the quizzes, then come to class. Now, if you come to class, we'll spend about an hour or so reviewing the material in the notes, and then we'll use the second hour to go over problems, to go to the lab and do some hands-on types of things. So that's the structure of the class. Now, how do you decide whether to, to attend class or not attend? Well, you might have a busy work schedule, so it's difficult to come to Houston. Or secondly, <clears throat> you might decide that you're very good at working on your own, and you really don't need to come to class. Now, if you would take a look at the second page of the online orientation, and what you'll see is a little, little box there, and in that box over here, what I want you to do is to fill out this information in terms of your last name, first name, um, phone number, email addresses. If you have multiple email addresses, let's say work and home, please send them to me, plus your home number, cell number, work number, and what I will do with these, this information is I'll make a list of all the email addresses for the students in the class and in the event I need to send something like, okay, I just posted homework, three solutions on the web, I have a way of pushing that out to everybody. Now, if I do need to email students, I will send that email blind courtesy copy so that no other students will see your email and I protect your privacy in that regard. Now in terms of your phone number, what happens is if I don't see you on the midterm or you missed the final and I have no idea why you missed that, it gives me a way of maybe contacting you to say, hey, what's going on, where were you type of thing, but that's usually the only circumstances, 98% of the time I never have to use that information. So if you're planning to attend the online class the very first day, uh, I will be having people fill out index cards to get that information. But if you're going to miss that class or you're going to do the class primarily off-site, then I need you to fill that information out. You email this to me at bettacher at uhcl.edu. Now once you email that to me, I in turn will send you the password for the online notes. The notes are in PDF format and they're password protected. Okay, so if you want the notes early and you're planning to come to class, then email that to me and I will in turn uh, send to you the password. Okay? Now, if we'll scroll down and we're going to be taking a look at the web CT. Now I'm going to do this a little bit differently. I'm going to take myself out from in front of the camera. I'll have the camera focus onto an actual session and you can look at the notes as I'm walking through the session to see how you work with web CT. Okay, we are now at the course website, and if you scroll down, you'll see this button that says Log On to WebCT. Now let's go, let's click on this button, and it brings up the main page for WebCT. On the left side, you see things like search for a class, you can look up your user ID, and if you look up your user ID, we wait a second here, you put in something, maybe your student ID or your last name and let's just try it out here and whoops we'll do uh, do Bediture not sure there's too many students named Bediture here but we shall find out and uh, oh, there are no matches okay well let's just make up a name we'll try uh, let's try putting in the name Smith Okay, you see a lot of Smiths there. Well, let's click on, uh, uh, let's see, uh, Richard Allen. 
Smith, and though you see WebCT, there is his uh, name. Okay, so that's how you'd find out your name. Your password is usually something like the letter P and your student ID number, if I recall. Okay, now let's back it out. Now, so that's important to know how to get your account name and password. If you have questions, then what you can do is go to this WebCT student support uh, website and there it gives you a description of information and this is usually good how to log in which we talked about course listing tips and so forth okay we're now back at the original page and let's log into WebCT we log in here and I'll log in uh, my name Okay. okay, we now log in. When you're in WebCT, you'll see things like current semester here and whatever classes that you happen to be enrolled in. Now, I will click on the uh, 5333. Now, if you're only taking one class, only one will show up. There's my name. My, my role here is the designer. So typically, you click on the class, and this is what comes up. Once you're logged into WebCT, you'll see something that looks like this. Now, this is a picture of the students that graduated this past uh, semester, and you can see that they survived, and you too will survive, and hopefully your picture will be here uh, in a future semester. Now, below the image there, you see various links there. There's course content. If you click on that, that'll go to the web page. There's a couple of tutorials that are out there. There are great, uh, quizzes, which we'll go to in a moment. Your grades, you can actually see your quiz grades. Also, when I post grades from the midterm and final, you'll click on here. This is where you go to for this, uh, support. The discussion, let me click on that here. Under the discussion, you'll see the main uh, notes. I will be posting things at times via the discussion board. Very important uh, to check that every time you log on. And uh, we scroll back and we see this thing called live chat. Now it's kind of like instant messaging. I had used that in the past. What I did was I said I'd be available during my office hours and have these live chat windows open. It didn't seem to work too well. Students didn't take advantage of that. So I'm not going to be doing that. Now coming back to the main page and and scrolling down, we will click on the quizzes link. So let's do that right now. 